We see a feasting the red and scarlet summer gaze stare into the wilds of Novinia, making their way across Mirror Lake on a small raft. The ferryman, an elderly halfling with, with faded red hair, lights a lantern as wispy fog descends on the lake. No words are spoken between the three, and all we hear is the small ripples of water as the ferryman once more begin to row after hanging the lantern on a small stick placed in the middle of the raft. We see Scarlet open and close in her hand continually as she still feels a slight tinkling numbness from the silver coin that the ferryman handed to her after they paid for the ride. Ephesic, on the other hand, is lost in thoughts. As he per the contract with his patron, is having a minor conversation with Glesterok the while. As usual, the Archfiend is attempting to make him do even more depraved acts of evil. And once again, Ephesic refused for the sole reason that it would only cause more trouble than it would be worth. Suddenly, we see the fair man stop moving his oar. Or rather, we see him unable to move it, as it has caught something. Both Scarlet and Ephesic draw their weapons, more so out of pure instincts rather than anything else. They start to make their way to the halfling in order to investigate the water, but before they're within arm's reach, the fair man is suddenly pulled down into the lake. Fucking hell. Scarlet sighs in resignation as we see her tap into her primal side. Coarse brown fur unites with her red hair until she stands in her hybrid wolf form. Crimson flames erupt from Ephesic's hands, whose mind is still preoccupied with the alluring temptation of Glestoro, echoing in the back of his mind. What are you waiting for, dear? Jump in. Scarlet snarls at Ephesic. Why does it all have to be me? Well, for one thing, dear. Flames are not that useful underwater, if he's excess with a monotone voice. Secondly, you can actually swim. With a growl, Scarlet leaps off the raft and jumps into the water, all the while hissing, Damn you, Ify. Satisfied now? As per our contract, I have committed an act of evil. Foreign thoughts respond within his mind. What do you mean by that? I lied about not being able to swim. Not entirely what I expected. The Archfiend replies, his voice growing dim. But you did have to jump into what would most certainly be her doom. So I'll cause evil. Our pact remains in effect. Ephesic. We see Ephesic smiles as he is truly left alone. Powerful as the devil was, he clearly wasn't omniscient. Jumping into a lake midwinter, where a monster certainly was lying in wait, was exactly the sort of situation where Scarlet thrived. She might be hurt. And sure, she might scowl and be mad at him for days on end, but in the end, she would be fine. After all, she was crafty, that one. Thanks for listening. The outro music was by Martin K. The other pieces which I mentioned in the description down below were by Kevin McLeod. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again in Dorokin.